Hi, Mike Schmidt here from Emerging Life Saving Technologies. In the previous videos, we've discussed the construction and capabilities of our ELT-406 GPS. This video is going to talk about the COSPAS SARSAT system and how it works. And we hope to answer the following questions. What happens when my ELT is activated? Who's even listening for my ELT? Is my 121.5 ELT even legal? Is 406 good enough on its own? And really, what's the difference when I add GPS to my 406 ELT? The agency responsible for monitoring distress signals is COSPAS SARSAT. It's an international consortium of 42 countries and organizations that participate in the operation and management of the system. By cooperating with the International Civil Aviation Organization, the International Maritime Organization, the International Telecommunications Union, and other international organizations, COSPAS SARSAT ensures the compatibility of their distress alerting services with the needs, standards, and applicable recommendations of the international community. While it is still legal in the United States to have a 121.5 ELT installed in your aircraft, COSPAS SARSAT terminated any satellite monitoring of that frequency in February of 2009. There still may be a few aircraft flying around monitoring 121.5 that might hear your beacon but the reality of the situation is that there's no official search and rescue agency listening for those beacons. Many countries are beginning to make 406 ELTs mandatory, and in fact, it's illegal to have a 121.5 emergency beacon on board any maritime vessel. It's certainly apparent that things are moving in the same direction in the aviation world too, just a bit more slowly. Coastpass SARSAT participants implement, maintain, coordinate, and operate a satellite system capable of detecting distress alert transmissions from radio beacons that comply with COSPAS SARSAT specifications and performance standards, and of determining their position anywhere on the globe. The distress alert and location data is provided by COSPAS SARSAT participants to the responsible SAR services. When a beacon is activated, the transmission is received by the COSPAS SARSAT satellites. The data is sent to a ground-based receiving station, referred to as a local user terminal or a LUT, which receive and process the satellite downlink signal to generate distress alerts. Mission control centers receive alerts produced by the LUTs and forward them to appropriate rescue coordination centers. The rescue coordination centers are where the actual search and rescue personnel are tasked with the rescue mission. There are two types of satellites used in the system. Geostationary search and rescue satellites, known as GEOSARs, and low altitude earth orbit search and rescue satellites, or LEOSARs. It's important to understand the differences between these two systems and what their capabilities and limitations are. As their name implies, GEOSARs are stationary satellites with a very large footprint. They can detect an emergency beacon nearly anywhere on the planet. However, due to their stationary position, they cannot determine the location of the beacon on their own. The location information must be provided by one of two ways, either acquired by an internal or external navigation receiver and encoded into the beacon message, or derived with possible delays from the LEOSAR system. As you can see, the LEOSAR footprint is much smaller than the GEOSAR. LEOSARs move in a polar orbit and calculate the position of the beacon using Doppler processing techniques. As the LEOSAR orbits the Earth, it passes over the top of the beacon and hears the beacon's transmission. It listens to the change in frequency as it passes the beacon and uses that information to determine the location of the beacon. With each subsequent pass of a LEOSAR over the beacon, the system is able to improve the accuracy of its location information. This obviously takes some time to have enough passes to narrow the search area. As you can see, 406 ELTs are a tremendous improvement over the 121.5 technology that's out there right now. But to use the COSPAS SARSAT system to its full potential, GPS data is an absolute must. That's why we build the only 406 ELT with built-in GPS that's capable of continually updating the aircraft position during flight. As always, we welcome any comments or questions in the comments section below, or you can contact us directly at 888-406-ELT1, or in the video description below, there's a link to our website. We here at Emerging Life Saving Technologies wish you nothing but blue skies and happy flying. But if that fateful day arrives when you're relying on your ELT, our 406 ELT with built-in GPS can take you from recovery to rescue. Thanks for tuning in. So long for now.